Uh, beer is a perishable product. It's meant to be a perishable product. Even filtered beer is meant to be alive to some extent when you drink it. Um, therefore, it's always better to drink a beer that's brewed close to home. And not because you're supporting the local economy, not necessarily because you're supporting local jobs. I mean, it doesn't have to be that altruistic. It can be completely selfish and say, you know, if you like beer, buy beer locally. Uh, beer is meant to be consumed as close to the source as possible. Um, and even though there are beers that age really well and there are beers that you can get you know, from all across the world, and I, like I said, I drink those beers, um, it's important to try beer that's brewed in your home because the way that beers developed uh, you know, hundreds of years ago and throughout the centuries have been that each region has its own defining style or group of styles. And then that, if those styles are successful, is of course, you know, born out throughout the rest of the world. And it's a pretty amazing thing to be a part of. And it's why when you go to Belgium, Belgians are so proud of Belgian beer. And when you go to Germany, Germans are so proud of German beers. It's the same thing in England. And we're developing that culture here in the United States, but the United States is immense in comparison to those countries. Um, so each state, it's possible, could have its own defining style or group of styles. Uh, and that's important. It's important for us to be conscious of that and develop it. Um, and like I said, for selfish reasons alone, it's worth buying beer close to home. That's what I'd say.